Hello, sorry it's been taking so long uh, since we had the uh, Sherman patent. Uh, today I'm going to do a proper ride review on this wheel. Uh, the, wheels, uh, the weather's been uh, not very good over here. And uh, I see it, uh, it's been sunny, shining uh, for the last couple of days now. Uh, obviously to do with work. <laughs> uh, so it's quite late at the moment. It's, uh, well, it's about seven o'clock in the evening uh, the sun is still up so it looks nice and sunny but it's still cold anyway so we got the pattern here uh, let's write this and uh, let's go to my usual test I'm just gonna go and do some turning see how it feels uh, yeah. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Then again, the wheel has been used and it's been uh, on demo day in, uh, up in Liverpool. And it's, uh, it's got about 80 miles on it at the moment. So it's done 80 miles. And it's still in good shape. Let's go over this. So the sun is uh, still up and Let's go for a quick test. That bump feels quite nice and soft. This is a medium suspension uh, medium. There, there, there's a small, medium and large. So to do with the weight of the, uh, the, the rider. And let's go back down and on this road and test the uh, speed bump. Okay. Now because it's a knobby tire, you just have to get used to it. Uh, it's an off-road tyre, so it's quite pointy on the end. Okay, let's go for a speed bump here. Yeah, it's nice and soft, and uh, it's very comfortable. And it's quite nimble, being a small 16-inch wheel. Uh, the weight is it's not too bad, you know. It's, 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 there's enough weight to keep you stable on, uh, on high wind. And you don't get blown away that quite easily. So let's go for that bump again. Yeah, very smooth, very smooth. Now let's go up and uh, yeah, and see I'm carving a little bit there. And it's quite nimble. I see it probably a little bit of wobble there because I'm uh, just trying to get used to this wheel at the moment. Uh, obviously with a certain amount of height on the wheel, you will expect a bit of wobble. And being a suspension wheel and uh, quite high up, you do feel that little bit of wobble. And see, that's a bump there. The suspension is very smooth. Let's go to that again. Yeah, nice. It's very comfortable. Um, as I go up speed, I can hit the wind in front of me. I can feel the drag on the front of the wheel because it's quite wide. Let's go this way and uh, let's go up to the uh, <laughs> okay. Let's go up to the uh, my usual spot to do some carving. Speed bump and see it is uh, it's quite top heavy. And you can see, feel a little bit of wobble. But this is something that you can get used to.
see it there. Okay. Yeah. Let's come down here. Go for the gates. Okay. Now let's do the uh, hill test as you can see in front of me. Uh, the usual hill and this is a 16 inch and it is quite heavy because the um, the battery casing is all metal as you know with the pattern so there's quite a bit of weight on this 16 inch wheel uh, with the suspension and all that and let's see how it goes up the hill by just getting on it and see what, the, what it feels like is it easy to go up the hill while you're on a slanted slope and uh, let's have a look so let's go up and see push off and go and lean forward yeah it's not bad it does roll so it's got a lot of power and I go up yep so the power is there let's do that once more ah you turn and see it's a knobby tire so you have to get used to the uh, the fat knobby tire with a pointing edge um, it's not as smooth as a roll tire but you just have to get used to it okay let's do a u-turn here Okay, let's start from this line. Oh, let's wait till the bike goes away and... Uh, okay, so let's go from a rear view. Here we are. And there we go. So I step on. Okay, standing up and put a bit of weight on it. There you go. So there's enough power to go up the hill. Now, let's feel the pad on this. The thing is, uh, when you get a uh, Sherman pattern, it, uh, you have to get used to it, you know. It's, it's not like a wheel that you just get on and you get used to it. Uh, this one, it takes a bit of time. Because with this, this suspension wheel, it's quite high up. And when you uh, ride, you feel the, the heaviness. If you do a slow speed, you can feel the weight on the top. Uh, but that, you have to get used to. Uh, let's do my carving here. Let's see if it carves. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. I can't say it's perfect or good, but it's not bad. Let's do the braking. Yeah, the braking is not bad too. Okay, so... Uh, I'm going to do a few laps and see what it feels like. Ah, uh, yeah. This wheel you need to get used to. <laughs> when you carve around the bend, it feels, for me, it feels a little bit high. Uh, if you have a look at the height of the pedal, yeah? So it's quite high up because it's suspension. And when you press down, it gets harder on the suspension, which is great so you will not bottom out the suspension it's very bouncy on the top end but as you go down it gets harder and harder and uh, it it is nice and smooth on the suspension side uh, now it's a off-road tire obviously as you expect with an off-road tire it's got the edges pointing edges and it's quite a fat tire it's quite flat and you do feel on a straight row it feels nice and smooth okay and if I break going down a hill here let's break yeah you see that I can feel a little bit of vibrations and uh, a little bit of wobble I think this is due to the weight because when you go downhill with a heavy weight it does take time to stop the momentum and if you pull it harder it vibrates a little bit yeah yeah vibrates and wobble a tiny bit so you just have to get used to the feel of this uh, wheel if you do get it. Uh, so, because it's 16 inch, it's very nimble. It's not like a bigger wheel with a, with a big gyro going around under your feet. So this smaller gyro, it's easy to, uh, to control and it's quite nimble. 
yeah so yeah so the braking is not too bad you can't fully stop it by pulling back the handle but turning is a bit uh, tricky being a fat tire okay yeah let's uh, go down this hill and brake again and we'll feel the difference there you go going down and brake yeah oh yeah you can see that it's like it's skidding you know it's skidding <laughs> the wheel is actually sort of like bouncing and skidding <laughs> when you brake hard <laughs> and it wobbles a little bit I can feel it oh yeah uh, but the braking is not too bad not too bad so it can brake that's it that turning here again is uh, you feel that turn you know let's go up here it's got plenty of power let's carve around this corner <laughs> now this wheel is definitely not a race wheel okay <laughs> it's not a race wheel definitely not a race wheel <laughs> I would say it's a cruise wheel 16 inch uh, for cruising on trail on maybe on on road yes you can crew but we'll test that in a minute but the suspension is good the suspension is definitely good nice and soft and uh, and good okay I'm on my uh, usual sport uh, just to do the uh, test on the nimbleness and the braking okay so let's start with a roll ah yeah so it's quite top heavy there so you can see that it's so easy to just to just like want to fall off you know when you go slow okay uh, so because it's heavy top you can see that white there you just like it's just like wanna tip over okay uh, okay so this is the fuel uh, let's go uh, a little bit faster yeah so it's very nimble very very nimble okay this wheel is nimble 16 inch has always been uh, a very nimble wheel and that suspension is so smooth okay very smooth so let's accelerate and see what we get right okay what was it when the wheel is heavy it's uh you expect to brake slower Now, and see, I'm, uh, you can tell the way I ride uh, because it's uh, not a roll tire, it's a knobby tire. Let's do a figure eight, and you okay? Let's do a figure eight. There you go. Yeah, it's harder, it's quite hard because it's uh, when you go over a certain amount of weight. And with that top heaviness uh, and see you can do it but just uh, it's just harder that's all yeah. so you can do it the tipping over is not too bad on this tire but you do feel a little bit okay so that's the figure A and acceleration let's go through here I'll ride that here. So you were racing. Yeah. So it's difficult. Oops. Ah. It's a fat tire, so it's difficult. Although it's more nimble, but you still got that heavy weight. Yeah. There you go. You still have to do a bit of work on your leg muscle. <laughs> heavy wheel you tie out quite quicker but other than that it's a very nimble wheel very nimble wheel it's got lots of power yeah see that the power is there the power is definitely there right okay there you are <sighs> Let's do some jump chest, yeah? 
Now I'm going to jump, so I'm going to adjust this uh, lower the pad so I can get more grip. So let's turn that up. I'm going to lower one down. I also got to lower one down, another one. Oh, this one's already down. Okay. So, so both sides down, so that should give me more uh, lifting power. Okay. So let's lift and uh, go over this. More in. Ah, yeah. Easy. Let's jump on here now. Okay. So let's lift up and jump. So you can lift it up and jump. But you got to time it right. Because if you don't, you will damage the rim uh, because it's a 16 inch diameter wheel it's smaller so when you hit a big curve you can't just roll over it you have to jump up onto it <laughs> yeah so different style of jumping with a smaller wheel not like the uh, Abram 22 inch you just roll over it but this is uh, you really need to uh, rebound the spring so I go on the high end yeah you see you can lift it up and jump over it and the uh, the suspension, yeah, it's very soft landing as well. It's a fantastic suspension. Okay. Yeah, fantastic suspension. But you can lift it with those uh, lip pad in the front, which is great. All right. So that's the jump test. Uh, yeah, it's not too not too bad actually. It's uh, yeah. It does work. It does work. All right, so the next test for the suspension, I'm gonna go straight for this park here, cut across to the other side and back. And uh, usually I, I feel it on my knees, uh, you know, with all the bumps and crampy on the, uh, <laughs> all this little bump on the grass and pothole. And, you know, you can actually feel it on your knees. But let's see how good this suspension is on this uh, pattern. Okay, let's go. The mud is still quite soft. It's not fully dry. And let's up. Let's have a look. The main thing I'm concerned is, uh, you know, riding onto dog poo. <laughs> yes, it's very smooth. I'm surprised that I can't feel any bump. Usually you feel the lot of bump going through this. And I can't feel any. Yeah, I feel it. It's very, very soft and uh, smooth. You can see that it's uh, the suspension is probably working very hard, but uh, I don't feel it, feel this on my knees. Yeah, I go a little bit faster. Uh, it's, it's windy, so I'm being blown to the right. I don't know, it's just, it's, I'm, I keep getting blown to the right on this wheel. And, uh, I see the mud here. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, slippery mud. Oh, sloshy mud. <laughs> oh, God, I hate this sloshy mud. Yeah. Good thing it's a knobby tyre. It's still very wet, the grass. It's been raining last week, the whole week. Ah, ah, yeah. Okay, so uh, let's go for the wood here. Well, let's ride back. No, let's go for the wood. Let's go for the wood. More mud. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, all this mud. Pothole and dirty mud. There you go. Wow, it's very smooth. <laughs> Just right over it. 
Yeah, oh, last one. <laughs> it's like a pogo stick. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Let's jump up here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's definitely soft and uh, bouncy and and cushion. You know, all in one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you don't feel the pothole as much. It's this very nice and comfortable ride. Uh, yeah, I can go on all day in the wood. <laughs> ride all day in the bumps. <laughs> it's quite nice. Yeah, it's good. Very good, very, very comfy. So I don't feel anything on my knees at all. Uh, the carving is not too bad. You can see there. Although it does uh, tip over a little bit on the toppy end, uh, but other than that, it's not too bad. You know, as I say, 16 inch, you can actually control the wheel. Okay, let's stop here. So, uh, there you are. So the pattern, and see, I haven't done any high speed on it yet, but I know what it can do. It, it rides like a Sherman, uh, and um, the weight is there. Uh, it's very comfortable. Um, the suspension is good. The build quality is superb. Uh, what else can I say? Uh, yes, uh, now when you do get the pattern, okay, uh, this side pad here, they don't come with pad. Now, when you buy the pattern, it doesn't come with a pad, so you have to get the pad separately, apparently. Uh, they don't come with it. I believe they're not allowed to sell pad with the, uh, with the wheel. Uh, that, that, that's a new one to me and uh, it has the latest firmware just updated uh, uh, yesterday yesterday uh, there's a new release of the firmware on this um, now we're out in the open and the pattern when you switch on if you're in a quiet room when you switch on uh, the board itself and the motor makes a very loud uh, noise it's like a humming noise you can actually see it vibrating and humming I think this is by design uh, because of that 126 volt power, you know, behind the ball, uh, all that power is, uh, is sort of like getting ready to, to go. It's like, mm, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready to go. It's like the wheel want to go. You know, that humming noise is there. Um, the light is not too bad at night. Just like the Sherman light, it's great. Uh, you know the, what the backlight is like. It's got indicator left and right. Other than that, um, it's a pretty good wheel. It's a good wheel. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's uh, because we're we're still testing it, and this has not been produced yet. It's uh, still testing. Uh, it give us plenty of time to test all the, uh, you know, what we will find on it. But at the moment, it's done to eight, over eighty miles. You know, over eighty miles, and uh, there's no problem just yet. Okay, none whatsoever, apart from new update from the firmware. Uh, that's, that's about it guys, uh, yeah, I mean, other than that, everything is uh, same as the Sherman S, the suspension and all that, and uh, it's just a, you know, it's a 16 inch, and it's, it's very well designed and uh, very tough, and it has got that heavier weight, so if you go on the main road, uh, it's more stable because of the weight, and for nimbleness, it's quite nimbleness, it's, it's quite nimble, uh, but when you ride slow, you do feel that weight, okay? If you ride slow and do slow turn, you know, going around little corners, uh, you do feel that weight. But other than that, it's a great wheel. It's a great wheel. Uh, woo! Let's test this in the wood. Deep muds around here, deep puddles.
slippery, uh, sliding a bit on high speed. The wheel is sliding, got to be careful. Now let's go up here, wow. Uh, you can see that, you can hear that sludgy mud. <laughs> really sludgy mud. This is where the water rolls down from the hill. So we've got to climb up this hill, going through all those uh, mud puddles. Uh, Wow. See that water trail coming down there. Promise. Let's go into that trail here, that water trail. So round it was soft mud. I'll make my way to the top there. Uh, let's go up. All this uh, up the hill. Yeah. Uh, and through here. Pothole, big pothole. Uh. Uh. Ooh, <laughs> more mud there. Ah. Uh. At least it's a 16 inch wheel which is quite nimble to uh, maneuver, which is great. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, wow, wow, look at that view. Ah, what a fantastic ride out. Huh? <laughs> so, this is what, what you want to do. Look at that nice view there. So let's test the wheel going down this hill, uh, right to the end, with all this soft mud and grass and pothole, and uh, I shouldn't feel anything on this wheel. So let's do it. Let's go down. Uh, see there. Yeah, it's so smooth. Okay, so this the suspension is so smooth going down this hill. You don't have to worry about those big potholes. It just goes over it, tricks and everything, and that grippy. That tire is so grippy, it's so good. I'm just cutting through the wood, well, cutting through the grass all the way to the other side. I mean, there's a lot of pothole here. Uh, I still have to watch it. There are some deep pothole here. I know this place, uh, but my legs are straight. Look at that. <laughs> so I'm putting my legs straight and it just rides through it. Yeah, it's great. The suspension is fantastic. You can do this all day long. Wow. Yeah. yeah as I say, it's not a race wheel. I mean, you've got sharp turns and all that. You ain't gonna get anywhere. But going on a straight, all this pothole feel and all that. It takes it all nice and smooth. It's fantastic. It really is fantastic. I'm riding through this, it's like on a street. <laughs> all the bumps has been lying now. <laughs> oh, 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 deep puddle here. <laughs> it's like sludgy uh, paddy feel. <laughs> it just goes through it. Okay, I'm not even getting wet anywhere. It's fantastic. Yeah, the 16 inches is amazing, you know? It's amazing. Do trail rides, amazing. You can, yeah, you hear that sloshy water beneath me? So I'm just gonna go back up to that hill there. Yeah, going over the bumps and sloshy muds. Yeah, it feels good. It's very, very soft. 
it's very nice very nice indeed let's speed up let's climb up the hill ah. when you write things like that I prefer not to have the pad because uh, it gives me more freedom to move about and uh, there you go fantastic look at that Whew. that was fun there you are the pattern look at that knobby tire it's great on trail I won't change that if you're doing trail uh, you know but just learn how to uh, control the uh, tire on turning on slow turning and once you master that you know what to expect from the wheel and you should be okay but uh, as I say if you want something sturdy well built you know not something that got break down very quick uh, you know constant maintenance and all that I think the pattern is uh, it's got it it's got it it's a great wheel yeah okay only if you're able to ride a heavy wheel okay but if you spend time on it to build up that leg muscle you shouldn't have any problem but once you get used to it it's great great for your knees as well my knees is uh, giving me a problem you know sometime you know, after a long day ride but uh, I think with this it's just solve the problem as well 